What's up, electric vehicle builders? This is Art, and help me today in the garage, Joe with his half thumb, because he's cool like that. Uh, today, we're gonna go over how to build an accessory for your skateboard. Accessory happens to be a speaker box that will be attachable to the back of my alternate skateboard. And us together as a project, this is a multiple of steps to improve the deck of my agent skateboard right here. It's gonna be replaced with this skateboard, skateboard deck, portable wireless speaker is complete. It'll be a Velcro attached to here so you can charge it or take it with you to the beach and etc. and have some music as you ride along. With that said, let's go over the components of your speaker box build. So starting with, this is your Bluetooth module. This little PCB board, circuit board, has two channels. There is some assembly required with this little chip. Uh, you have to glue on this heat sink to the sound processor, and you have to screw this little cap on to have it completely done. Um, this, this amplifier supports 12 to 24 volts. So to get most out of it, you want to supply it with 24 volts it's hard to find a 24 volt battery online, but we can build a 24 volt battery using six cells, 18650s. They're recycled. I took them out from uh, older skateboard battery that I had that I no longer use. You can do 12 to 24 volts power supply for this uh, amplifier. So with the six cells, we're gonna combine them with battery management system. This is a 6S lithium ion battery management system and this 24 volt power supply used for charging. So that's the power side of the whole music assembly. Uh, the sound side itself is we're gonna use the two kicker speakers, three and a half inches in diameter each, and they can peak out at 80 each. This is a generic Pelican box I found on Amazon. Dimensions are as follows, 7.7 inches by 6.4 inches by 3.6 inches. It's just big enough to fit these two speakers diagonally like this. All right, guys and girls, let's get this sound box put together and attached to my skateboard. Whoa. Is that a magic trick? No, there's no magic trick. It's a montage trick. Stay tuned for the rest of this video to see how the magic was performed. Starting on the battery, and Joe is making sure all of your 18650s are of the same charge. So check them with the voltmeter. Half thumb up, all good. All right, here I got 18650s, six of them, to make 24 volts. They're all staggered, one looking positive this way, next one is negative this way. So we're staggering them for serious connection later, later on. Staggering terminals. Now let's get all the wiring in series on this uh, battery pack done. I start out always with cell one is towards you. Do one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is where the nickel strip is gonna go. Here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here, and here and here. One, two, three, four, five. There's gonna be five nickel strips connecting everything in series. Joe helped me out rounding the Nicholas chip and I'm gonna get started and put the insulation rings on top of the batteries. P1, that's your go into the load. So for us it's going to the amplifier negative and positive. One, two. B plus goes to battery positive and all the numbered B1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, and 6 as actually no six is just B positive. They all go to positive terminal of each cell. So for example, B1 goes to cell one, 
positive side. B2 goes to cell 2, positive side. 3, this side, 4, this side, 5, 6. Pretty simple, right? And then um, battery negative goes to cell 1 negative. All right, let's get to it. Next, we're going to solder in all the balance cables needed for charging of the battery pack. I'm going to apply a small amount of solder on all the connection points required and then proceed with the soldering process. Here's a quick representation of what needs to be connected and where. Let's start with the power um, output side of the BMS. So P negative and P positive. This is the protected circuit that's protected by BMS. Uh, 40 amp max discharge. If it exceeds 40 amp through this P negative, P positive, it's going to shut off. So that's your first wire, P negative, P positive, going to your amplifier. Uh, secondly, to charge the battery pack, same thing. You wanna connect your charging positive negative cable that goes to your charger right here through whatever connector you prefer, which I'll put it on later, through to P negative, P positive, right? So, so far, two terminals connected four wires, okay? The sequential numbers, battery one through battery five and actually six, all connect to positive terminals of each cell. So B1 here will connect to battery positive one on this side, or cell one positive. Two goes to cell two positive right here. Three, cell three positive, and you get this idea. It just goes all the way around. Battery negative goes to cell one negative, or overall negative for the battery, and battery positive goes to cell six positive. Positive, negative and all the balance cables go to the same number cell as they're designated. Pretty simple. Let's finish this soldering process. Send cell one. It is absolutely imperative that you check all your work on soldering and BMS installation afterwards. So here's, here's a quick steps how to do it. Check your main power output, make sure that the volts we're going for is 24 volts on main build. So here's 24 volts, output to the amplifier, and this is our charging line. They're both connected to the same uh, voltage source or the same connectors, so we know those two are good. So let's check each balance cable, make sure it's showing the proper voltage. To do so, put your negative probe on battery negative, cell one negative, which is right here. For simplicity. And the rest of them, we're gonna go and test each cell, starting with battery one, B1 positive, should be four volts. B2 should show eight volts. B3, 12. B4, 16, B5, 20, and then B positive or battery positive should show and we already checked it, 24 some volts. Okay, everything is good. 
battery is finished. What's left is putting everything together. So I'm gonna put two holes in the cover, situate the speakers, trim the speaker tabs, and drill necessary holes for the on-off switch and the volume adjustment. All right, yeah. Let's get to it. When they see me pouring some more Oh, oh, we think it's empty again Better fill it up for I go Cause I'm loving it, feeling it, touch me and being it See what I see, me get the cup That's the no wrong way to mix it up Go with it, with it, flow with it, let it all go Speaker holes are ready for speakers. Let's get the speakers ready by removing the trim tabs off of the speakers. Holes are cut. I got speakers situated to where they need to be, and I played around with the spacing inside to see how everything would fit, and everything's fitting just fine. So next up, let's put it all together and glue in silicon and make it sound good. Bye bye. Alright, let's put everything together. I've attached the speakers there and so let's get battery and the amplifier situated. Does it feel to breathe when you dead? They never seen you out of your head. Cut to the bone is broken up with how sad. box finished product very easy to use to turn on bam connects to your phone and hit play and hold it just like Trump I get the on as I take hits from the ball Product. Speaker almost done, bros. <laughs> Little bit of tape and it's all good. Only three easy payment of $19.99. No credit check required. Call now because supplies are limited.